Hello everyone. Well, Tesla's at it again with some uh, pricing discounts. So I got an article from Electric here. Let's check it out. Headline is Tesla discounts Model S and X, eight thousand dollars plus three years of free supercharging and end of quarter push. Tesla has added a discount to the the new inventory of Model S and X vehicles and three years of free supercharging for deliveries by the end of the quarter. With the end of the quarter approaching, Tesla is looking to deliver better looking financial results by not ending it with many vehicles in inventory. To achieve this, Tesla has regularly applied special discounts or incentives to take delivery of new inventory vehicles by the end of the quarter. We reported that Tesla recently offered three months of free supercharging for people taking deliveries of a Model 3 by the end of June. Now Tesla is giving even bigger incentives on new inventory of Model S and X vehicles. After dropping the price of the new Model S and Model X significantly early, earlier this year, Tesla is now giving an extra discount of up to $8,000 on some vehicles. It results in brand new Model S vehicles going for as low as $82,790 or $1,113 monthly for a lease or $1,307 loan payments. On top of that, Tesla is giving three years of free supercharging for buyers who take delivery by June 30th. This is now the lowest the Model S has been in a long time, and with three years of free supercharging, this is starting to be a very attractive deal. It's not surprising that Tesla is leaning on more significant incentives considering the fact that it looks like the automaker's Model S inventory has more than doubled over the last three weeks. I'd be tempted to grab one of those if Tesla was giving me a good trade in price for my Model 3 with FSD beta which it unfortunately does not. So yeah, with Model S inventories rising and the end of the quarter coming, looks like Tesla's looking to move some Model S's and X's. So if you're in the market for one of those in the States, might be a good time to see what they have to offer. I don't think you would be disappointed if you went with a Model S. I sure loved my 2014 Model S. And the new ones are on a whole new level compared to what I had. So I can only imagine the, how awesome it would be to have a, a brand new Model S. So more pricing adjustments from Tesla. I think this is you know going to be constant, sometimes up, sometimes down. Often they do this near the end of the quarter to get some better numbers for the quarter. So it's almost worth it to maybe wait until near the end of a quarter to see if there's any kind of incentives that come out if you're in the market to purchase uh, a new Tesla. So that's it for this one. My name's Evan Bertrand. This is the Evergreen channel. Give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe by clicking on the wheel in the bottom right. And thanks for watching.